bonjour. Uh, I'm going to make it very easy for me, so I'm going to speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's what Swedes do. They, they take the easy way out. As you could see, uh, I'm here by myself. On the picture there, on the photo, uh, is my colleague, my comedy partner, as, as I call it, uh, Thomas Kelly. And he's important here because it's someone I've been working with for the past 25 years. And um, as was just stated, I am here in Nancy and I am the director for the Centre Choreographique National Ballet de Lorraine. Centre Choreographique National, what is this? It is something extremely unique in the world. It only exists in France. There's 19 Centre Choreographiques National and each one of them is run by an artist. I am a dancer, artist, choreographer. And what is really the mission of the Centre Choreographique National is that we are here to create new dance. And maybe of you, maybe many of you, you have never, you don't, when I say the word dance, you think, okay, yes, that's something I do sometimes by myself in the shower. Or it's sometimes I do it out when I go out and dance with my friends, etc. But, um, and sometimes I go and see dance. Not everybody is familiar with this art form. And it is quite particular because there are many different ways of dancing. There's something called hip hop dancing, which you're probably quite familiar with. Uh, there's something called ballet. There's something called contemporary dance. Etc. 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 Our company is a contemporary dance company, even if we are called Ballet de Lorraine. What was what I was interested in when I took over this institution was actually a bit in the name because it was called Centre Choreographique National Ballet de Lorraine, and I asked myself, why is it called ballet if they are not doing ballet? But then I thought, okay. What is ballet? What is that word ballet? What does it mean? And uh, could it mean something else than it's stated or what we think it is? Because when I say the word ballet to you, you would probably think of tutus, tights, especially men in tights, and point shoes, and a certain way of moving your body. And probably a lot of you would also say, Yes, it looks beautiful, or but I don't understand. What are they doing? It doesn't, it doesn't give anything to me. And I can assure you, I don't understand ballet either. I don't understand dancing. I think it's a very strange profession because here you are not saying a word and you're moving your body and you're supposed to tell something with this. I've been working with dance for over 50 years, so it, it still intrigues me. But It's a little bit similar to music, because when people say to me, I don't understand dance, I go, well, do you understand music? And they go, hmm, well, okay. And I say, well, if you listen to a piece of music, whether it's classical music or rap music, what does it, what does it actually say to you? Does it, do you need to understand it to appreciate it? And then I think people more and more understand why dance can be so attractive. Dance is also something which is a bit unusual in the sense that we see movement every day. We see people walking on the street, we see people standing still, we see people running, but we don't really see the body in motion of dancing, especially we don't often pay to go and sit down and see a performance of dance. But when we do, I think there's something very fundamental within us that speaks to us because we can recognize ourselves in this body in front of you that is moving And then, of course, it depends <laughs> if the dancer is good or not. <laughs> But it's something that I think fundamentally can, can speak to us. What I'm going back to uh, the mission of our Centre Choreographique. The mission is to create new dance. So basically, we are a research center of dance. Research is normally connected with uh, economy, biology, technology, etc., etc., And we are supposed to find results. And those results are often 
connected with money. And with the arts, our main goal is not money. Our main goal are other values that I find extremely important, and extremely important today since a lot of the world is run by money. So we're very lucky to have this institution because each year we produce different types of performances and we experiment with what the future could look like in dance. A couple of years ago, we, um, we had a, um, a request from something called the Les Fêtes des Associations. I will translate that in English. I think, it, I think it's like the, the Associations Party. It happens usually every year here in Nancy in the park of La Pépinière. And they asked me to do something because we should be represented there uh, in this situation. So I said, okay, uh, where is it going to be? And they said, it's going to be in the park. And I was like, okay, and, and where are we going to dance? And they said, well, you can dance anywhere you want. So I went to the park, I looked around, I saw what was going on, people were playing games, they were running, they were lying down on the grass, they were, they were basically having a good time enjoying themselves. And I was like, okay, so yes, we can dance. We can probably dance on the grass, and we can probably dance on the, on the, on the. There is some kind of stage there, but, but I was also thinking, well, yes, that's kind of evident. I could pull out any old dance almost, and we go there and we do a little bit of dancing, and that's what it, and everybody will be happy, and then, and then everybody will go. Well, I didn't understand anything of that, but uh, they would look nice. So. Since we are this organization that is there to develop dance, I also was thinking, well, it's important to hear that maybe what if we go a little bit further than just having the enjoyment of seeing beautiful people moving around? So I started thinking with my colleague, we started talking about well, what, what, what could it be? What, what could we do here? And, uh, and we came up with the idea that what if we mix something very popular with what we're doing? So we saw people playing football and we said, well, what about if we marry those two together and see what happens? So we created something called Disco Foot. In the why disco foot? Well, first of all, we said, well, what kind of type, if we mix the two, what, what type of dancing could it be? Should there be people running around in tutus or white tights, doing chetes, should they, or should they do Spanish dance, or should they do hip hop, or what, you know, what, cou what could it be? And then we said, well, actually, it needs to be something that m most people would be familiarized with, most people could, you know, relate to. And I we thought, well, disco could be funny because I think people, they like dancing. They, disco is something from the 70s. It's something revived. It's something that could be fun. So we said then, okay, what about if uh, we make up some rules here? So we sat down and uh, we wrote down on a paper and we said, okay, rule number one, you have to dance. You cannot run. Rule number two, you have to know football. Rule number three, you also have to dance if you stand still. Okay, are there gonna be any goals here or is it just gonna be people r running around, moving around? Yes, of course, you have to have goals, but it could be quite difficult. So then we said, well, wait a minute, there, are, there is another sport, uh, and that's ice skating. And there they have artistic scores. So you get technical scores and you get artistic scores. So then we said, we will have a panel of judges, of professional judges, who will judge each team on how they dance. So even if you are an attacker or a defender, 
you have to check out what's going on around you because it all relies on how your team dance and play the football at the same time. I tell you, it's extremely difficult. We're going to have a little look at what the result gave. our dancers from, from the Centre Choreographique National Ballet de Lorraine who is then playing against each other and they're very competitive because they really want to win the match. Of course there's not only just playing and dancing at the same time, we have sneaked in some choreographic elements in it to make it more exciting and as you could see you can get a, a yellow card if you run, for example, or you don't dance, or even more serious, you get the glittery pink card. Well, I'm not even going to go into what kind of things you, you, you do to get that one. But um, so we played here in Nancy at the Place Stanislas in 2016 because what happened to the Fetis Association was that it was raining, so we never did it. It kept in my mind and I said to myself, well, actually, we should try it. So we, we did it. That year, there was also, it was a big football year. I think every year is actually a big football year in some way. But, um, and I s people started coming up to me and they said, you know, you know about football? And I said, no, I don't know anything about football. And I, I have no idea really. You know, people could get a little bit upset. And, and I said, what do you mean? Why, why would you get upset about something like this? So um, we played, and I looked around, and I saw people passing by, and I saw that they had big smiles on their faces. And I thought, that's fantastic. People are, even if they don't watch, they are intrigued by what's going on here. The next year, we were invited to the Centre Pompidou in Paris and uh, to play there. The Centre Pompidou is, a, is one of the biggest museums, art contemporary museums in, in the world, as you well know. And um, during the match there, I made a little film, a bit like that, but a bit different anyway. And uh, I put it on our Facebook. And um, I'm happy if 29 people come and watch our Facebook and view. So, But I looked at it and it started to go up and suddenly we had a couple of thousand who had looked at it and I was like wow this is you know this is doing good I said uh, hmm have you I said to my dancers have you seen what's going on and they said yeah 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 you know we've seen and people are starting to comment on this and they were writing uh, oh wow I've never seen anything like this what is this what's going on da, 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 da. and uh, I said to them I said okay if we get up to 10,000, I'm going to give you champagne, all of you. I should never have said that. 
because within a week, we were up in 100,000. Suddenly, we got some calls from, uh, for example, L'Equipe. I think you know which, uh, which, uh, which, uh, news which paper I'm talking about, one of the biggest channels, sports channels. And uh, they distributed it, and boom, we were up in three million. And it kept going like that, the Daily Mail, all, and it just kept going and going and going and going. And when we started counting out all the different places where this had been shown, we ended up with 70 million. So from a very small thing, we ended up with this huge spreading of um, something that we actually just thought was a little bit fun in the beginning. But I'm not, I'm lying a little bit here because I'm going back to the importance of why we're here. We're here to develop dance, but in what context? Because also when all the comments started coming in and people started sharing with each other, they were not all positive. After a little while, and especially when it came into the sports world, the comments became really negative. And not all of them, but a lot of them, very dangerous. People started saying really awful things. People started saying, this is the end of the world. What's happening to my sport? I can't support this. And I thought, ah, this is when it's getting interesting. Because obviously, just by moving your body and at the same time kicking a ball, you're entering into politics. And this is where dance is political. And just with your body, you can create a big hoo-ha and look what happens. I think it's very positive in the end because even if we get bad comments, even if people react, they react. And this is what I think is my message for this, that we need to do things, not be afraid, and the important is that people think. Thank you very much.